Leo's Welcome. This is your heart spread read for mid-January 2022. A love, a romance, and relationship reading. Here we're looking at you coming in with the Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior energy, and the person that's on your mind coming in with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Now the one and two position here in the heart spread represents their energy in and around love, romance, and relationship. Could be dealing with an earth person here, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn personality. And uh, their energy is uh, probably in the past, I like to see this kind of separate from the relationship, just kind of where they're at in general around love and relationships, which is often about where, where we were in the past. Um, and they weren't reciprocated, very most likely. I don't feel that they ha were reciprocated in their last relationship, possibly in more than one. But they're, you can see, uh, if you I can't really see their faces. Um, it's hard to get this card. Uh, see if I can get his face. In, oh, yeah, there you go. So let's, let's look at you. So, because the faces, I think, are important. In both of these, this is your energy here, the wounded warrior, where you're at in terms of love, romance, and relationship. Now, your person's really thoughtfully looking at uh, their uh, reciprocation. You know, are they getting back what they give, you know? Um, and this is uh, could be texting, you know? Are they having to text twice to, to your ones? Uh, I mean, it could be uh, very basic things. Uh, but when, this, when you come into a relationship with this energy... It's kind of not good. It's kind of bringing the past with you. And a little bit similarly, you see, they're not really focused into the reading. They're focused on this issue. So uh, it's almost like uh, as you guys meet, and as you come together, they're seeing you through the light of this filter of reciprocation. A big focus for them. So in other words, they might not even see you fully for who and what you are, you know, when they're so focused upon this one thing. Because, you know, uh, coins, too, is, can be fixed energy, can be very solid. Um, and you see here, too, you have that classic look on your face, though. You can really see that. Um, that's kind of resolve. You know, the nine of wands is resolve. Like, you've tried and you've tried and you've failed and you've failed, but you're, you haven't given up. You know you got one more in you. You're going to need a minute, you know, but you're, you're still in the game. Um, this terms of love and relationship... Um, it's a little bit tough energy for both of you guys coming together. Um, and then when they, when you react to them, you're showing here the Queen of Pentacles. That's great. If someone, I say, makes you feel like the Queen of Pentacles, that's a very good sign in terms of a relationship. Um, who doesn't want to feel like the Queen of Pentacles? Um, so they're not afraid of you being strong, what that shows me, because you're able to feel like this. Um man or woman you know they're not afraid of you being in charge they understand that you know your own worth and they're responding well to that they see your value and i think that's how you're perceiving you're being seen to me it's an energy though that they're putting you on a pedestal because see they're coming in with the five of pentacles and look at the difference and they're starting out with the seventh it's like that chip on your shoulder it's like they're just looking for trouble. They're looking for you to not reciprocate because you know that's what always happens. And when you come in, my guess is that you are. You're coming in with this kind of abundance. They're really putting you up on a pedestal. They're maybe seeing you in some manner like you're, you're uh, represent uh, where they would like to be. Uh, they might see you as being a little bit more substantial even in, in terms of your money. Could be a little bit older person. This kind of energy. But they're judging like themselves and they're kind of feeling lesser. So, you know, this, when you have this kind of in general, when we go around thinking, oh, you know, did I really get uh, enough for, out of that relationship for what I put in? You know, it kind of shows a, you know, wrongheadedness about relationships in general and maybe going into relationships in general just feeling lacking and the lack mentality, I'm never good enough and uh, that kind of thing and then looking at you and thinking your person's thinking wow um, they're amazing um, the, the danger with this could come as self-sabotaging behavior because you know they don't feel worthy so then they make that happen when we get to advice from spirit it gets really interesting but you come in with the star card here leo so 
Aquarius energy. Um, and really, this is about faith. This is advice from spirit, this position in the relationship with this person. And if spirit's advising you to have faith here, it makes me feel like there's uh, something in the relationship. And then spirit's advising them with this eight of wands to really put energy into this relationship. It's coming under the five of pentacles. There's kind of like an urgency here. You know, you the star goes very well with the queen of pentacles, you know. Um, it's very harmonious energy. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you're feeling good, you're the queen of pentacles. Why wouldn't you have hope? You know, queen of pentacles runs like the best kingdom, you would say. The best. Their trains are on time. It's like the Germany of queens. So with your person, though, they're being advised to really pour a lot of energy into it which they, they might not naturally feel like they have. I get the sense that maybe the, between the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles, when they react to you, they could start like already like withholding, really because they feel like they're not good enough. Uh, um, you know, even consciously, they could just make a decision like, no, it's like I'm not good enough. And Spirit's telling them to pour it on, pour your energy into this relationship. There's a cross watcher. Just to be clear, um, or if you want to share this, I really consider that a high use of this uh, reading. So, I wanted to point out too, we have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. So I do count in the heart spread. Um, so I think that's your energy too, the overall energy of the reading. Um, so you're just coming in a lot stronger than them. You might understand emotions probably better than they do. I'd say it like that. You you probably mastered emotions in some way. You know, you've got two queens. That's showing a, a, a mastery. I mean, I can see why they got you on a pinnacle. My question is their hope for this relationship. You know, in the moon, uh, is really unknowns. Things that are unknown. Things that are unseen. Things that are hidden. There's something that needs to be understood that's not being understood here. And I got to think that you're the one. These six of swords, it's moving towards your person. I'm really going to have to clarify that. So this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. That there's something that needs to be seen. Four of swords. So I think what this is speaking of in this case, it could be reversed. But for Leos, this is your person. And probably what they need is to heal. And this is the, what's going on. You have the lack mentality. Um, so kind of what's being said to your person, it, the pro, there's no problem with this relationship, okay? The problem is that your person needs this time to heal. And it kind of means, this is for the relationship as a whole, so it kind of means that you both need time to heal. It can almost be a kind of energy too, it seems like to me, of like the relationship needs time to gel. Let's see what we get. Clarify this. Yeah, five of cups. Wow. Uh, the relationship needs time to gel and time to heal. And with the outcome, clarifying the six of swords is mentally moving away. Could be actually moving away. And then the ultimate clarification being the Five of Cups. It's hard not to see this as uh, with this time. This may be a time out too. You see there's like isolation. So where you guys are taking a time out. Um, where you're trying to like evaluate if this person is going to come. Because this is the advice from Spirit. You know it doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to take this advice. You know, you don't have to take this advice, but I think that you might because you're, like I say, you're the, you're the coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. The reason for Queen of Pentacles is not to have hope for the future. But for your person to be able to get, this is sort of being down on your knees and to get up and really play your A game and put your best foot forward and put all of your energy forward, I think it's a lot to ask from your person here. Let me clarify just what's going on with them. Yeah, the King of Swords. Um, it's, a, it's a lot to literally ask for them. The King of Swords is the one would be like uh, very harsh about this. 
It's like, you know, shit or get off the pot. What's going on? Why can't you get it together? What are you thinking? Um, that kind of energy. And it could have a lot of self-judgment going on, kind of critical, harsh self-judgment. Kind of speaks to, you know, a, a childhood where they were judged harshly. You know, uh, could be a mother or a father, even though it's a king. Uh, but that's kind of probably where this um, lack mentality comes from. Um, but it does look like to me in the end that I can't... It, you see the person's got their back here. I think that you may find this hard to believe if you're following the star energy. Um, but given the time to heal, they may just decide that they don't love you. That you're not the one that they want to give their cup to. This is the one you're thinking of. I mean, they came in really thinking about this hard. And um, whether or not that's a good choice for them, I don't know. Uh, my sense is they're kind of dealing with this lack mentality or not dealing with it. And so they'll just go on and deal with it in another relationship. But um, I really get the sense, you know, maybe both of you will just decide that this is not going to work. This is emotionally just kind of turning your back on the situation. Uh, but I got the feeling that it, it very well made them to kind of do this. Uh, and that even might be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, but just be clear, um, they're just shooting themselves in the foot here is what's going on, guys. So uh, thank you. Hope that's helpful. Give me a like. Do subscribe and hit the bell if you can. Thank you, guys.